Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, the NSAIDs, are potent inhibitors of cyclooxygenases 1 and 2, COX-1 and COX-2. Their effect ultimately is to inhibit the production of prostaglandins and thromboxanes that are associated with uh, inflammation. Aspirin is the only NSAID that irreversibly inhibits COX-1 and COX-2 and it does that by acetylating or modifying the active site of both enzymes. This effect of aspirin is especially pronounced in platelets where thromboxane production is inhibited for up to seven days. Cortisol is a potent anti-inflammatory agent. It exerts its effects by inhibiting phospholipase A2. The inhibition of phospholipase A2 by cortisol prevents the release of arachidonic acid, which is the precursor of all eicosanoids. The lack of availability of arachidonic acid results in the inhibition of the synthesis of all eicosanoids. In summary, NSAIDs will reduce inflammation by inhibiting COX-1 and COX-2 and specifically reduce the production of prostaglandins and thromboxanes. On the other hand, cortisol will inhibit the release of arachidonic acid by phospholipase A2 and will therefore inhibit the synthesis of all eicosanoids, prostaglandins, thromboxanes, and leukotrienes. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.